in the supermarket doing some shopping, just getting some food in. Uh, gonna get some potatoes, some bananas. Uh, if you want bananas, usually best uh, trying to get them with black spots on, but normally you can't. So I'll probably get two, three of these and let them ripen up a bit and get a bit uh, more black spots on before I eat them. Uh, potatoes, doesn't matter whether they're white, sweet or red, I get these, they're pretty nice. I'm going to get two bags of these. And they're only £1.50, so potatoes are cheap as chips, guys. £1.50, well, that's about, about $2.30 for one bag of them. So in the fruit section, guys, here, as you can see, uh, fruit is really expensive. So let me see. So I can get a bag of potatoes um, for cheaper than what I can a pack of these. So they're two, two pounds for these, whereas I can get a bag of potatoes for one pound fifty instead of two pounds. Strawberries one pound fifty. So I would actually be better off just getting potatoes, which I have done, than strawberries. I mean, I do love strawberries. Um, I'm not knocking them or anything like that. Uh, it's just sometimes fruit isn't always cheap. Uh, £2.50 for a little box of blackberries, not cheap. Um, dates, these dates are usually quite good, I'll get two packs of them. Fruit is pretty good, fruit is one of the best things you can eat, but the problem is it's just so expensive. Um, get another box of tomatoes. Gonna get some peppers. Gonna get some spring onions, they're pretty good. Big fan of clementines, so I'm gonna get two bags of these. Uh, two for three pounds, which is about five dollars. Uh, uh, so these ones are the Moroccan ones, which are nice and sh uh, sugary. Uh, the South African ones tend to be quite sour and bland, so sometimes you have to wait until the sugary ones come in. So guys, tip, always buy uh, loose potatoes, never packaged ones. These packaged ones here um, are one pound roughly in weight for one pound fifty and these ones here are one pound per pound so these here are a third cheaper than these so I always buy loose usually they're much better I always love my greens guys so I always get green beans if I can uh, so these are really nice these are from uh, Kenya so I'm gonna get two packs of them so as you can see in the other man we do get quite a lot of good variety I'm gonna get some of these peas these peas are really nice so I cook these in my rice what are these? Okra. I've never eaten okra before. I wonder what okra tastes like. Um, I'll buy a pack of these because I've had them before. And do I want any fowl salad? I think I've got loads of food at home already. Uh, sometimes, if I'm honest, I'll uh, risk buying too much. I'm weighing my potatoes. Uh, stick it down there. Oh my so potatoes. So that's it, pretty much it, guys. There's not much else to buy other than that. Uh, I usually just try and stick to fruit, vegetables, whole food, stay away from processed stuff like bread and junk food. Sometimes I do get it though. Um, let's see, do I want anything else? I'll take you to the herb section. You know there's something wrong with society when you can buy Pringles for less than the price of some blackberries or strawberries, it's ridiculous. This is what's wrong with our society. Uh, £2.50 for a little box of blackberries but £1.50 uh, for some Pringles, for some processed junk food, is ridiculous.
So back of my car, guys, that came to about £35, roughly, or about $50. So um, roughly in America, everything's a lot cheaper, so I'd say that would probably work out in America to be about $35, roughly, based on, like, different prices I see uh, for you guys out there. Um, I could have actually made that a lot cheaper. The reason why it's probably so expensive is I just, a uh, guy just walked past who looks like Jeb Bush. Um, the reason why that's probably so expensive, uh, well, not really expensive, that's actually pretty cheap. I mean, if you were, you know, eating dead animals and chicken periods and all that, that would be way more expensive because that's how I used to eat. You know, that would have ended up being about 50, 60 quid altogether. So it's definitely really cheap compared to, you know, animal products and what have you. Uh, I could have got that cheaper. Uh, I bought myself some herbs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, little bottles of herbs, they probably cost about one. 50 or two quid each um I'm trying to think what else yeah so i probably could have whittled that down to about 20 quid in terms of the essentials i eat the starch uh, the potatoes that's what you need most more than anything for carbohydrates um, so that's kind of it for this video guys. So this is the first time I've ever done a shopping video uh, Sorry if it wasn't the best. I've never done one of these before um, I've had an iPhone for a while now, but I've only just started using the YouTube capture function on it So uh, give me some feedback. Uh, was it bad? Was it good? What do I need to do next time? What do you want to see from me, etc. And I'll start trying to do these each week um, When I go shopping, I hope you find this really useful in terms of ideas of what to buy Remember go high carb, low fat, low protein, high fiber, whole food, plant-based, vegan. Next time guys god bless all the best to all of you and i'll be back soon with a new video bye bye now guys